has been three years since the administration's war on drugs started and some families are still crying for justice for their lost loved ones. Their stories are now featured in a photo exhibit in Cubao titled Tatlong Taong Walang Dios. Greg Gregorio has more. Almost three years have passed since Ella's son died, but time has not yet healed her wounds. Her son was one of the early casualties of President Rodrigo Duterte's war on drugs. And after all this time, she still believes that her son was innocent. Ang hirap, ang hirap mag-mobile eh, kasi kay sa isang anak ko yun tapos pinatay pa nila parang hayop. Hindi nila binigyan ng pagkakataong mabuhay. Sana binigyan nila ng pagkakataong. Hindi naman laban yung anak ko eh. Meanwhile, Nanay Emily's son died just three days after Christmas in 2016. She says what breaks her heart the most is not actually the death of her son, but the fact that victims like him are mere numbers, collateral damage in the government's bloody quest against drugs. Tapos yung kung sinasabi po nila na police operation po yung nangyari, bakit po ganun kailangan po nilang patayin yung mga nandun sa loob ng bahay? Nagkakasaya lang po yung anak ko kasama yung mga kaibigan niya. Bigla na lang po silang pinagbabaril ng mga polis. A photo of Nanay Emily's son is now a part of this memorial wall for victims of extrajudicial killings. However, human rights group Rise Up admits the total number of EJK victims can no longer fit in this wall that is part of an exhibit organized by Resbak and called Tatlong Taong Walang Diyos. Buti nga nagkaroon kami ng available space na parang free kami ilagay kung ano yung talagang gusto namin instead of baka may fear na ma-sensor or uh, pigilan kung ano yung talagang gusto namin ilabas na ma may pakita namin sa publiko na kung ano yung nangyayari talaga. Included in the exhibit are the four photos from June Santiago, who is a night crawler in Cebu, or a photojournalist who documents the implementation of the government's anti-drug campaign. This is the story of the families, story of the victims. For Commission on Human Rights Chief Chito Gascon, there is still a human rights crisis in the country. So he believes that through an exhibit like this, the public will be aware of the effects of the war on drugs. Sa likod ng mga statistiko ay may mga tao na may mga pamilya at uh, may mga buhay na nakitil. So magandang pagkakataon para makita yung human face ng aspetong ito. The exhibit is open until October 30, Tuesdays to Sundays from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. at Stall 9 in Cubao Expo. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News. Thank you.